A Florida woman says she wasn't shoplifting. She was playing a game called 21. Florida is about to ban and criminalize alternative meat sources. A Florida man touched himself on a child's bicycle in a Walmart parking lot. And Florida Governor Ronnie D signs a bill that will increase the size of wine bottles. These are the weird news stories for Friday on Weird AF News. They're all from the state of Florida because that's what I do on Friday. It's only weird news from Florida, our favorite place in the entire universe. It's Florida Friday on Weird AF News. Let's get right to it. A woman was arrested for shoplifting. She says she was playing a game of 21. Hmm, a game of 21. Never heard of this. Is this some sort of TikTok challenge invented by a degenerate teenager? The game of 21 that I know is a poker game that I'd like to play at the casino because it's very simple. It just requires some very simple arithmetic, which is pretty much all Jonesy can handle when it comes to the math department. This game of 21, never heard of it. Is it, uh, if you win, do you get 21 months in prison? (laughs) Then you won, lady. You won. This Florida woman, she won. She was arrested earlier this week in Flagler County. The deputies say that she admitted to walking out of a Walmart with a shopping cart full of stolen goods. I'll tell you right now, Walmart in Florida, that's where it's happening. That's where it's going down. You got uh, people trying to buy children in the parking lot. People using sex toys in the aisles. Shoplifting's going on. It's uh, wine being drunk out of Pringles cans. (laughs) I've covered all sorts of crazy Florida Walmart stories. The police say they were called to the Walmart on Monday at 6.26 p.m. to investigate a reported theft. Uh, According to the sheriff's office, the caller explained that this woman, our Florida lady, Amber, (laughs) Amber, when you meet a Florida Amber, you know, you know what's going down with Amber. (laughs) Amber makes horrible decisions. Florida Amber's always making bad decisions. Florida Amber's just like leave their kids at home and go on a vacation with some dude they met on Tinder for a week. They just do that. This is Florida Amber for you. Uh, Apparently, our Florida lady, Amber, age 30, had passed all points of sale and then refused to show her receipt full uh, for the cart full of items. So, you know, when you leave and there's someone there, they want to look at your receipt. I guess you're supposed to show them the receipt. Uh, I I usually do. Um, I read somewhere that you didn't have to do that, uh, that they were actually it was a breach of of law or privacy or something for them to ask for a receipt. So I don't know. To me, it seems like a gray area as far as the law goes, but I'd imagine if you refuse to show the receipt, you're just going to, you're going to raise some eyebrows. It's going to slow you down a little bit. Um, It says the Florida woman reportedly moved the approximately $1,030 in stolen goods to a vehicle before fleeing on foot after realizing that someone was watching her. Wait a minute. So she put, the stolen goods in her car and then ran away that was her plan as if they're not going to trace the car to her wow meth makes you so creative doesn't it (laughs) so stupid is this the game of 21 (laughs) you put the goods in your car and then you run and then you come back to the store after you count to 21 i'm gonna guess that's how it works One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Okay, the cops are probably gone. 21. Upon arrival, the deputies, of course, found the vehicle, which had all of the stolen stolen items in the back seat. They then spotted the woman walking toward the store. All right, this is the game. Trying to figure out this game of 21. After the deputies made contact with Amber, she admitted that she'd carried a loaded cart full of stolen items to a car, claiming that... It was just a random car that she found. <laughs> okay. No, I just put him in a rando car, you know. I didn't put it in my car. I mean, come on. Sure, sure. The registration's to me. And that's my bottle of wine on the front seat. But I, I tell you, it's not mine. <laughs> Who? T- yeah, yeah, like you're going to just open a random car. The first car you come to is just it magically open. You put the stolen items in there. All right, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around what this game of 21 is is it breaking 21 laws on a single property because it's she's on her way here she also claimed that she stuck her purse inside when she saw law enforcement arriving as well okay (laughs) no i put my purse in there too although it's not my car 
Perhaps the game of 21 is uh, how many ex- stupid excuses that are not believable that you can come up with for the police after you've committed a crime. If you can hit 21 ridiculous excuses, you win. According to the investigators, Amber told them that she was playing a game called 21. Okay, which involves this. All right, here we go. We're going to break it down. Here's 21. I want to know how to play 21. Can I play it in California? Does it have to happen in Florida? Does it involve gators? Does it involve STDs? Is it 21 STDs by the end of the day? That sounds like a Florida contest. You can actually win. Okay, 21 involves a person grabbing as much mer- merchandise as they can from a store and walking out without paying, all the while trying to not get caught. That's not, that's just robbery. That's not a game called 21. That's so stupid. Who, this is, this is what she made up. Now I'm playing a game. It's, it's really fun, right? What you do is you, uh, you, you get all these stolen items and you try and get away from the cops. It's so exciting. Well, well, you won, lady. <laughs> you won some, you won 21 weeks in the slammer. Oh, I got some more quotes from Amber. (laughs) I scrolled down a little further. Oh, this is rich, rich material. Listen to this. So uh, Amber can be heard saying in body camera footage that was released by the sheriff's office, quote, well, I did it one other time and this time, but I got caught this time. So now I've got to figure out where my purse is and where my merchandise is because now I've got to give all my merchandise back to Walmart. Then the deputy says to her, well, it, this is not really a game. And she, she says, it's a game. It is a game. The deputy says, well, to you, it may be a game, but this is theft. She says, it's, it's a fun game, too. It's really fun. And then the deputy says, oh, yeah, going to jail is fun. <laughs> I mean, this is unbelievable back and forth. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is one of the greatest... <laughs> It's one of the greatest Florida theft stories ever, for sure. Oh, this woman is a a barrel of of laughs, I tell you. Hanging out with Amber on a weekend, whoa, you don't know what's going to happen. Better have health insurance and, you know, a bail bondsman on speed dial. Amber was taken into custody, and she she changed her story and said that the car hadn't been random. Instead, it, it belonged to her boyfriend. Here's a quote from her. My boyfriend doesn't know that I steal, and he doesn't know that I put all this this crap in his car, neither, so I'm going to be really in trouble with him. But, you know, that's just another thing. No, I mean, you could just tell your boyfriend you're also playing a game. I'm sure he'll accept this explanation. (laughs) Honey, there's a lot of stolen merchandise in your bedroom and closet and in your car and... (laughs) I put some in your parents' house. But I'm just playing this game called 21. It's great. You put 21,000 stolen items in your boyfriend's house. It's amazing. Florida is about to ban and criminalize alternative meat. Yes, over the last few months, Florida legislators have been quietly working to ban and criminalize the production and sale of cell-cultivated meat all across the state of Florida. There's uh, two bills specifically addressing these issues, and they are awaiting uh, the signature of Ronnie Little D. They're on his desk, and he'll probably be pulling out his pen soon to sign this alternative meat ban. Here's a quote from Ronnie Little D. I know the legislature's doing a bill to try to protect our meat. You need meat, okay? You need it. And we're going to have meat in Florida, I tell you. We're not going to have that fake meat. Like, that doesn't work. That ain't a thing. Fake meat. No. Real meat. Florida. (laughs) Meat. Come on, Ronnie. Ronnie, come on. Get back in your cage. All right, I'll get in the cage. I'll get in the cage. All right. Let me sign it first. I want to sign it like, mate, mate. <laughs> this guy's such a moron. You need meat. You need meat. <laughs> what is this? This is a commercial from 1942. You need meat. The four food groups, you need them. Need a lot of meat, cheese, milk. Drink a big glass of milk and eat a meat. <laughs> uh, Ronnie, Ronnie, uh, 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 there's so many people who live their entire lives without eating meat. They still live. They're still, I, I know some of them, <laughs> lifelong friends of mine. <laughs> you, you don't need it. Yeah. You, some people want it. I want it. I love it. But, you know, I tried going vegetarian. I lasted about three months back on the meat. For me, it's my personal choice. For some people's personal choice, it's they don't want meat. 
Ronnie D. Are you aware of this? Are you just... <laughs> this guy. Are you living under a rock, Ronnie D? I mean, like... <laughs> You know, I'm joking about him being pulled and locked in a cage. Uh, but, I mean, he's, he's somewhere where he's unaware. <laughs> really unaware. Now, the meat that they're referring to here, it's not like alternatives such as Impossible Burgers and Veggie Burgers, that sort of thing. Tofu dogs, yeah, this sort of stuff. They're talking about cell-cultivated meat, meat grown in a laboratory, which is, you know, this is on the cutting edge of of the food industry. I've covered a story about cell cultivated lab grown meat before on the weird AF news podcast. It's uh, what they do is they take uh, samples of animal cells and then grow them in the lab. And, and so then it doesn't require the slaughter of animals on a farm. Um, it's, it's actually meat. It's still meat. It's more meat than an impossible burger or a veggie burger. Um, it just doesn't, it just cuts out that whole, you know, tasteless slaughter of animals um it introduces another fear though which is this is a new way of cultivating meat and that scares some people obviously and it scares a lot of people who uh you know happen to be in the same political party as a uh, good old ronnie d they don't like anything new what is that what is that new get it out of my face man hey, hey, hey. how dare you eat meat that wasn't killed first we, we need to kill it or it just ain't going to work, man. It's, it's not even meat unless you kill it. And the Florida government just loves banning stuff. We're going to ban marijuana. We're going we're gonna to ban books. We're going to ban vaccinations. We're going to ban gay flags. We're going to ban that fake meat. Meanwhile, tweakers in the parking lots. What's anything going to be done about that? <laughs> the tweakers in the parking lots are, should be addressed this issue. Uh, last I checked, uh, the, there's an insurance, a home insurance, an auto insurance debacle in Florida right now where the rates have gone through the roof. People can't afford home insurance and all of this. In other words, real problems in Florida. Ronnie Little D. I, for one, uh, welcome alternative meat sources. Uh, Lab-grown meat. I'll try it. Hey, maybe it tastes better. If it tastes the same, whatever, I'll try it. And then the idea of um, what it does as far as benefits for the environment uh, really uh, interests me. Because uh, instead of all that land and all the water that's used to feed all the animals that are slaughtered, you do it in, in a different way. And you save some of these natural resources for other things. Um, not to mention the CO2 emissions from these large you know, meat farms and whatnot. I mean, there's so many benefits to, you know, just tinkering with some other ways. And if you don't want to eat it and you don't want to try it, you don't have to. No one's making you, you know, just require it to be labeled as such in the store. This is lab grown meat. That way people are, they're not confused with what it is and you give people the choice. I mean, it's called free market. I mean, what happened to that? <laughs> Yay! A Florida man masturbated on a child's bicycle in a Walmart parking lot. Two Walmart stories. <laughs> Tweakers in a Walmart lot. Tweakers in a Walmart lot. <laughs> Tweakers on Florida Friday. A Florida man was caught touching himself on a, on a child's bicycle in a Walmart. Oh, I thought he was, he was on sitting on a child's bicycle. I thought, just reading the headline, it was a little misleading. I thought... He touched himself and finished on a bicycle that was owned by a child who was just standing there watching and sobbing and asking, Why, dear God, why? I'm not riding that thing ever again. This guy was arrested and charged with indecent exposures. So many indecent, indecent exposures in the Walmart parking lot. There's so many that it's not, you can't even consider it indecent exposure anymore. Just call it Walmart exposure. <laughs> The man was arrested for Walmart exposure. We all know what it is. All right, we have here the Margate, Florida Police Department. They received an indecent exposure call from the Walmart parking lot. Upon arrival, the police spoke with the victim, who is a homeless woman. She was in her vehicle at the time. The woman reported a man later identified as Mondell Elise, age 37, was um, 
masturbating while on a child's bicycle near her truck. Based on the description given by the victim, police quickly located and confronted Mondell. Officers were able to have the victim positively identify Elise as the man that she saw touching himself outside her truck on a bicycle. Our Florida man star of the story was promptly transported to the Broward County Main Jail where they're going to ride him like a bicycle all day, I'd imagine. Take that, Florida man. <laughs> He's being held on a $2,500 bond. That's the end of it. Does uh, Do Florida Walmarts have like bail bondsmen inside? I think that's a very viable business in Florida. Anyone who's thinking of, about maybe opening a bail bonds business just do it right in the in the walmart right there (laughs) it's perfect it's adjacent to most of the crime jonesy you're a genius why aren't you rich Uh, i don't uh, know i don't know i'm in a closet doing this instead bringing my bright ideas out into the world to capitalize on such things now i'm just I decided to spend it in a closet and doing stand-up comedy for four drink tickets. I don't know why. (laughs) I really don't. Tonight we're focusing in on Zoom with Galaxy AI on the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Ah, a baby tiger. Check out his claws as he prepares to pounce on that frog. Close one, but not as close as this Zoom. We can literally count the whiskers and... Oh, look, Mum's here. Good thing I'm nowhere nearby. Go wild with Galaxy AI on the new S24 Ultra and zoom in on the epic day or night. Get yours now at Samsung.com. Yay! Florida Governor Ronnie Little D signs a bill that will increase wine bottle size limit. Well, yeah. Well, you're going to need bigger wine bottle sizes so you can drink yourself into forgetting that your governor's a moron (laughs) if you live in Florida. Gonna need that wine. You can drink yourselves to death as the home insurance goes through the roof. And when you're done, you can just cork that wine bottle and float down the street during the next hurricane. (laughs) And other usages usages of the wine bottle. You can live in it. (laughs) We don't have affordable housing in Florida. What are you going to do to fix it, Ronnie D? I don't know. Bigger wine bottles? You guys could, uh, if you drink enough, you'll forget what's going on here. Governor Ronnie D. signed this bill on Thursday. It removes the wine container capacity limit in Florida. I had no idea there was a wine container capacity. I guess you can't get a you couldn't get a gallon of wine in Florida. You're like Jonesy. How could you stoop to the level of drinking a gallon of wine? You know, sometimes those big jugs of cheap red wine are great. You know, when you when you're well, when you're from a poor Italian family and you're having a huge spaghetti and meatball dinner. Pass the jug, baby. Ronnie D. said this measure, HB 283, changes an anachronistic law that isn't very good for businesses or consumers. Florida laws prohibited the sale of wine in bottles larger than one gallon, which is a little under four liters, unless it is sold in a 5.16 gallon reusable container. Distributors and manufacturers are allowed to sell wine to other distributors and manufacturers in containers of any size. Ronnie D. had a press conference about this, and there was a a large bottle of wine next to him, and he said, A bottle like this size was not able to be sold in a store like this in the state of Florida. Now you can go all the way up to 15 liters in the state of Florida. That's almost four gallons. And then the crowd of cougars roared. Yeah! Yeah! Then Ronnie just secured the votes of 40 plus year old women in Florida with this move for sure. <laughs> now this law is going to go in effect on July 1st. It will allow wine to be sold in 4.5, 6, 9, 12 and 15 liter glass bottles. Very important issues they're tackling over there in Florida as you know. Got another quote from our man Ronnie D here. We want our consumers to be happy, and if that means they want to buy and sell a big old bottle of wine like this, then by golly, they're going to be able to do that in the state of Florida. (laughs) By golly. Your leader says by golly. Are you guys okay? (laughs) By golly. (laughs) Oh, man. I'll tell you right now, I never vote for an individual that says the phrase by golly. You know you're in trouble. (laughs) By golly. Someone that says, by golly, a lot, yeah, they're not going to do anything about gun control. (laughs) They're going to be banning vaccines. 
Good news, though, if you're in Florida, you can drink all the wine in big bottles that you want, and you can forget the fact that you probably just contracted leprosy from the DMV. <laughs> Spill the wine, dig that girl. Spill the wine. Dig that girl, yeah. Spill a wine, 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 spill a wine. Dig that girl, yeah. Spill a wine. That was perfect, by the way. That was a perfect impression of whatever, whatever singer and band that is. Uh, I do like that song. It's very trippy. I was walking through a field of tall grass, <laughs> something like that. And it's, I think it's. Uh, I think the story is about somebody on LSD who's drinking large bottles of wine in a grassy field. Uh, let me give thanks and praise for first of all for you for spending some time with the Weird AF News podcast, specifically the Florida Man edition. Uh, also, some people bought me some coffees, and I just want to give them shout outs. First of all, we have. Chris by four bought me coffees. Chris by four. That's the, um, that's the profile name. Uh, so shout out to Chris. Chris wrote, I kept roll quote. I kept rolling feet. Things made me laugh so hard. Jonesy. <laughs> I kept rolling feet things. Yeah. Chris is referring to a story I did, um, involving uh, sex games, uh, sex dominoes, and within that story, I mentioned that I had never played sex dominoes, but I had played the sex dice. You, you ever rolled a sexy dice, and how it, it wasn't going my way? I kept rolling feet stuff, and I just, you know, <laughs> I don't want to do any feet stuff. I don't like. <laughs> uh, truth is, uh, truth is funny, isn't it? <laughs> Anyways, big shout out to Chris by Four for the coffees and the support. Pam, Pam bought me coffees as well. Pam. Uh, is amazing and it's very supportive of Weird AF News. Pam bought me coffee and wrote, Your show is perfect, is the perfect ending to my flash briefings, Jonesy. The coffee is for, quote, with friends like these, who needs enemas? Brilliant! Keep it up. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. You're so sweet, Pam. I appreciate that. I'm glad I was able to make you laugh and keep you entertained uh, every day in your flash briefings. So. Yeah, uh, I think Weird AF News is something you, one should add to their their daily news rotation, daily news lineup. Because you know you want to you want to insert some humor into your daily news lineup. I think because it, it can be very depressing, just constantly just taking in mainstream news. So, especially lately. So, I'm trying to give you a little alternative to that, and um, it's even better if you drink a gallon of wine while you're listening to Weird AF News. We recommend that. Anyone own a winery that would like to support Weird AF News? I love wine. Totally. I, I would. I will allow a wine, a winery, or a wine company to sponsor this show. I would jump at that. Um, yeah, I dig. I don't. Uh, I don't like white wine. I don't know if I've said this before. I don't. I do not like it. White wine or uh, champagne. Just. I just don't. I don't know why I'm just on my whole life. Nah, red wines all the way. Pinot Noir, uh, cabs. Oh, love that stuff. Anyways, there's probably no wine, uh, wine czar that listens to this, but if there is, or you know somebody, tell them I'm, I could use a sponsor. Wine or coffee would be appropriate for this show. Anyways, I'm rambling on and on. For what reason? Who knows? Let's just get you to the weekend, guys. I'm so sorry. Anyways, I'm glad you joined me here. I want to thank everybody who sent me Florida news stories the past few days. I appreciate that. If you want to buy me coffees like Chris and Pam and support the show, just go to weirdafnews.com. That's the website. You can click on the little coffee icon. It's like got a yellow border. Just click on that. I believe it says buy me a coffee on it. Or you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash funnyjones and, and buy one there. And uh, you can also consider joining the Patreon as a good way to support the show. That's like buying Jonesy a glass of wine every month. Why wouldn't you want to do that? And you can do that by going to weirdafnews.com and clicking on the Patreon banner. Or go to patreon.com slash weirdafnews. Or download the Patreon app on your smartphone and do a search for Weird AF News. If you'd like to email me over the weekend and say hello, it's funnyjones at gmail.com. And there is a phone number, 646-450-2012. Please call, leave a voicemail, introduce yourself, say where you're from. I'd like to hear from listeners here. Follow me on the gram as well, at Funny Jones on Instagram. And good luck with your life, man!